You're off your rocker, Pete. You know that. Oi, get back here. Shit. What do you think? Just run, you idiot. Bollocks. Over there. Come on, down here. No, eat. There's a train! Peter! Just don't stop. Come on, this way. Come on, this way. See you. Come on. Nice work. What? Huh? You're late. Are you lost, old man? You were supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. I gave you clear instructions. Anyway, come on. We can probably still make it if you're quick. What are you talking about? Hang on, Pete. Hey, mate, can you get us out of here? What? Are you kidding? Didn't you hear me? We don't have time for this. Either you're coming or piss off. But don't expect a refund. This isn't a charity. Guess we're going with him then. That thing's radioactive! Get back! Chicken. Sam! Oh my god. It's now or never, son! They're over there! So be it. Wait! You're nicked. The other one's through that door! Gotcha! No. I, I don't believe it. We'll be out of here. Ready when you are. I did my lunch already, so you don't need to worry about that. And I know you said I couldn't have Chris sandwiches, but I put ketchup on it, so it's one of my five today. Oh, and before I forget, you know I asked you to sign my homework diary. Well, 
You don't need to worry about that anymore. I managed to forge your signature. By the way, a friendly reminder, there's nothing in the freezer. Can you go to the shop? Maybe get some of that new mouthwash while you're there. You know, the one with the picture of the dragon on the bottle. It's the best one because it shows all the bits of bad breath in the sink when you spit it out. Dad, can I get an electric toothbrush for my birthday? My friend Dylan has one. He said it's really fun, like going on the car wash, but in your mouth. Maybe we could share it with two different brush heads. You need a new toothbrush anyway. Your one has hairs all over it. And it looks... Right, ready to leave. Phone, Dad. Phone. Right, give it a buzz for me, Mum. Calling. Well, not sure I'm up to a race. Just bills and some posts for that man, Jack. What's the deal with Jack's post always coming to us? Well, it's the same surname and initial. Come on, let's drop it off for him. OK. So, chicken dippers for dinner? How about a nice Caesar salad instead? Wow, get you, Jamie Oliver. Oh, hey. These came to me again. They're for you. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, cheers. Jack, your clothes look mental. <laughs> what? No, they're not. Mm, they are a bit. They're so tight, doesn't your will get pinched? <laughs> Funny kid. Anyway, I have to go. Uh, nice seeing you both. Uh, do you have any posts for us? Yeah, hand it over. Stealing posts is a crime. Ah, oh, yeah, I, I do. There you go. Sorry, it's a bit of a pile. Oh, thanks. You messed up, Jack. Anyway, um, I've really got to run. Don't give yourself a wedgie. That guy doesn't have his head screwed on properly. I like him. Promise me he won't turn out like that. Don't worry, Dad. Your daughter's a super genius. Good. Now remember, I get your first million. Why don't you and Jack be friends? You don't have any friends. Charles is my friend. Yeah, but she's a work friend. You need cooler friends. Friends who jog and have stupid hair. There's plenty of those idiots down the gym. But you don't go to the gym. You were joking about salad for dinner, right? Junk forever, you'll get fat like me, and then I'll get into trouble. 
What about chips? Potatoes is a vegetable. I think some of these letters are from social services again. Don't worry. If they send one of those people around again, I'll shoot them with a machine gun, then push them down the rubbish chute. Right, see you later then, nuisance. Don't forget dinner. Yeah, yeah. Bye, Dad. Hello again. Small world. Yep. You work in Central? Sorry, mate, what with that? Okay, well, I'll, I'll let you get back to whatever it is you're doing on your phone. Sorry, I'm being rude. Don't worry. See you around. Idiots! My oh, phone! That's expensive stuff! Are you guys alright? The screen's smashed. Do you know how expensive these are? Look, let me uh, let me help you up. Get away from my stuff, thief! Whoa, chill out. Give me your arm. You two, you two, you two, you two, you were made for each of them. What did... Sorry, did, did you just say something? Sorry, mate. I've got to go. Right. What time do you call this? Sorry, I, um, got held up. Oh, never mind that. I need your advice on something. Go on. So, I met Darren again last night. You know, the one with the funny ears. I literally have no idea who that is. Anyway... He invited me back to his last night. Finally! Wait, I thought you were seeing Tony. Keep up. 
Tony with the terrapins? Turned out he was married. So are you going to that drinks thing on Thursday? Hang on. What happened with Darren? I'll fill you in on that later. Please say you'll come out. You're the only one I can talk to. No, I can't. I've got to look after Molly. Oh, you always use that as an excuse. Morning, or should I say afternoon? It's only just gone nine. Nine oh two by my watch. Synced to Big Ben. That's, that's very clever. Careful, sunshine. Don't forget who's in charge around here. You're our supervisor, not our prison warden. <laughs> now all I can think about is Shaz in handcuffs. Do you even do any work round here? If you knew the pressure I'm under to hit the new targets, the fact I'm keeping it together is a miracle. Well, perhaps you need a holiday. Oh, he's popped up, isn't he? You better wind your neck in. Don't forget you're on report for all those days off. Yeah, because he was in hospital. Shaz, that's tragic. <sighs> Come on. Sake. Print, you bastard! Hello, welcome to Technical Support. To help us with your query, in your own words, please describe your problem. The paper is jammed in the printer and I can't get it out. Thanks. Did you say you would like to upgrade your account? Need help with printer. I'll put you through to one of our support team advisors. Finally! We are currently experiencing a high number of calls. You are number 164 in the queue. Please hold. All right, 5.30. Let's get out of here. John, mate, where do you think you're going? Um, I'm going home. It's 5pm. I think we're entitled. Didn't you get my email? I marked it as important. You couldn't have missed it. Uh, I didn't see an email from you. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, long story short, there's been a bit of a foul-up. Anyway, I need the Royal Oak files completed by the start of tomorrow. I think it can keep. Hmm, no can do. The big man upstairs says it's tomorrow or your department is in deep doo-doo. I'll stick around and help you out. Well, it's John's cases. I don't think we should set a precedent of sharing out work. Thanks, Shaz, but it's, it's OK. What about Molly? Oh, get a sitter. You go home. Good lad. All right. Well, if you're sure, I'll see you outside Molly's school tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Shaz. And remember, it's a school night, so don't get up to too much trouble. Ugh. You never sent an email, did you? Shit rolls downhill, mate.
Oh, for Christ's sake. You forgot dinner, didn't you? Look, I'm sorry, Ma. It's, it's been a really long day. I, I just forgot. I think there's some jelly in the fridge. So much for healthy eating. Who am I to complain? It's kind of late for you to get back. I've been here since three o'clock. It can't be helped, I'm afraid. I've taken too much time off already this year to complain about staying late. The only thing I could do is get you a childminder. Do you really want that? Yes. You don't need a childminder. And anyway, we can't afford one. Well, I did my homework. Do you want to check it? Can I look at it tomorrow morning? I, I just need to rest for a minute and uh, then we can have dinner. Sorry. I think I overslept again. Wait a minute. Where am I? Molly? Molly, are you here? What the hell is all this stuff? Where the hell am I? What's up with my voice? My body feels weird. Do you value all human life? More or less. Are there circumstances where it's appropriate to deceive a loved one or partner? Sure. Everyone lies. And to take the life of a loved one? There would have to be a bloody good reason. Are you capable of suicide? Sure. But it won't be necessary. What if you were instructed? Well, I wouldn't want to let anyone down now, would I? What is your greatest fear? That this interview will never end? Are you afraid of answering questions? Come on, ask a real one. If you were to be sent on a long trip, how long could you be away from your normal life? Define normal. We mean your life outside of work, your attachments, your family. Whatever was required of me. Even years. What if the trip was indefinite? Is it? Thank you, Miss Hughes. We appreciate your time. That'll be all for now. Got me on speed dial. You got a spare hour or two? I may have. I'm coming over.
Mina! M Mina Hughes! Excuse me, I'm quite busy. I I'm Amy, Amy Ung. I'm pretty new here. I can understand why you wouldn't remember me. I am going to need to get past at some point. Oh, sorry. You're a big deal around here. I, I thought maybe you could give me some tips. I read your Operation Bloodhound report at Zantest. You know they use you as a case study there, as an example of how to keep a clear head under extreme pressure. Okay. Since then I've been doing a lot of meditation. I think it helps a lot, you know? Oh, what am I saying? You don't need me to tell you that. Sorry, are we going the same way? Anyway, I've uh, been with the company about 18 months now, just transferred over from the Gibraltar office. Have you been stationed there before? Sorry, that's a stupid question. Uh, there's good work being done over there at the moment, but obviously it's nothing compared to HQ. I'm really lucky to get the opportunity to work down here. Hey, maybe we'll end up working together at some point. It would be great to shadow you, to learn from the best. Right. I've heard so much about you. It's an honour to meet the legend in person. Well, this is me. Are you going up? Oh, no. It's been lovely to meet you. Bye. You've met Amy. Oh, yes. Promising recruit, that one. She doesn't know when to shut up. <laughs> She's getting fast tracked. What? Blasted thing. Fast-tracked where? The most intelligent people in the world working here, and we can't even get a lift to operate reliably. Sir? Advanced Dynamics, your section. So I'm her boss? No. About bloody time. She'll be reporting to me for the time being. I want to oversee her progress directly. Why the special treatment? I've decided to include Amy in the selection process, same as you. I hear she performed very well. Let's see who comes out on top. I think this is your stop, Hughes. Sir.
come for a checkup, have you? You know what I'm here for. Can't get enough of my sensitive bedside manner. Skip to the end. I don't want to stay out here all night. Hey, just having a bit of fun. Save it for the bedroom. Fun starts upstairs. Are you right, babe? Yeah, I just had a long day. Oh, my babe saving the world again, is she? Saving it or destroying it? One of those. Anything I can help with? Sure. Can you disappear, one of my colleagues? I need a professional. Can't trace back to me. How about a back rub instead? Yeah, I'll have one of those. But later. Is Dylan asleep? Mm -mm. I'll let him wait up for you. Make sure he's reading and not watching TV. <laughs> Will do. Hey, Dylan. Hi. Is everything all right? Yeah, just eating. How's Grandad? What? Oh, yeah, he's fine. I told him about your 200 meter swimming badge. He was very proud. 500 meters, Mum. I got my 200 meter badge ages ago. Why do you always forget this stuff? 500 meters is what I meant. Sorry, Mum's had a long day. Dad said you'll come and watch me do my 750 metres. Please say you'll come this time. You missed the 400 and the 300. Everyone else's mum's come. Of course. I wouldn't miss it for the world. OK, now it's getting late. Time for bed. Oh, come on. Can't I stay up until nine? Dad always lets me stay up a little longer if I'm reading. Nice try. Come on, Dylan, lights out. Mum's tired. It's not fair.
fish. Got any aces? Yeah, have my ace. Slipping out without saying goodbye. Can I go out? Have you done your homework? Yeah. Liar. Rude. Mum, it's okay if I go out, yeah? Of course, Puddin. Say hello to Vivek for me. Would it kill you to spend some time with your family for once? I will tomorrow. Love the uniform, by the way. I think you look very handsome. Handsome? You look very tidy, dear. What you see in my sister, I don't know, Ash. Oh, I guess I'm just stuck with her at this point. Off you go, then. Text me when you're on your way home, love. Bet you five pounds I could hit that car over there with a rock or something. Go on then. Nah, what if the alarm goes off? Too scared. No, I just don't want to upset the neighbours. You don't shit where you eat. Hey Donna. Hey, you got here quick. Not working at the Godfather tonight? Nah, Dad's had to close down for a few days. Right in the deep fat fryer again. You've spiked the batter, haven't you? <laughs> Nothing that exciting. Just a dodgy batch of scampi. Gave some people a runny bottom. Well, there goes that Michelin star. Cheer up. At least you don't stink of fish grease tonight. Are you both finished? Did you see that guy just then? The one with the pretty lady? What guy? I've been watching him from my window for a few nights now. Bit creepy. You okay? I keep seeing him bringing home different girls. Boys too. Vivek, I'd have hoped your parents would have talked to you about this. Let me explain the birds and the bees. That's not the weird part. He brings them home but I've not seen one of them leave. What are you saying? Well, I've had my suspicions for a while, but I'm now pretty convinced. I think he's building a gorilla army. Nah, he's probably just eating them or something. Weird sex thing, I imagine. Oh yeah, I hadn't considered that. Probably a sex thing, yeah. We should play Knockdown Ginger on him. Let's order him a pizza! No way. We've got to be all forensic and stuff. Covert surveillance, like your sister. Emma's only a police constable. Getting bored. Wanna do some gas? Oh, sweet. I'm up for that.
Okay, Becky, what would you rather do? Be put in prison for 10 years, but when you come out, you get 20 million pounds, tax free. Or get the 20 mil up front, but you die when you're 35. What are you on about? Come on, which one would you take? I wouldn't take either. They both sound shit. No, you have to. Probably you take the 20 million up front, live it up on a yacht. But you die when you're 35. Yeah, I know. Like a really horrible slow death. Okay, fine. I'll go to prison then. But it's solitary confinement for the entire time. That's okay. And you don't have a bed to sleep on. Just a stone floor with loads of spiders about. You're just adding stuff to make it worse. Check it out. Freaky dude's back and he's all alone. Not this again. Let's see what he's up to. No way! I don't want to be turned into a human kebab. He is pretty fit. If you play your cards right, you could be his next victim. Let's follow him. I want his number. When he makes high concept art out of your body parts, don't say I didn't warn you. You only live once. Let's tail the creep. You know, he's probably meeting with his superiors in the guerrilla army. Still entertaining the guerrilla army theory then? Yeah, I'm coming round to it again. Poor fella, he's probably just run out of condoms. Cannibal murderer, but practices safe sex. Nice. Could have saved himself a walk. You can get condoms in the loo at the ploughman's arms. He's actually pretty good looking for a deranged killer. I can't deny, he's one handsome man. Almost as pretty as you, hun. Ah, oh, you make a boy blush. Viv, you do not fall when it comes to these wild stories. Uh, wake up, sheeple. There are crazy things going on in this city. All those three months when you went full flat earther. On that occasion, I was just a victim of fake news. Some guys heading for that old building. Guerrilla army's still not off the table. Building looks big enough to be a fortress. Place is half fallen down. Maybe he owns the place. You could probably make a fortune converting that into flats. 
Okay, but what about all those people he's been disappearing? They're probably all inside having fun. I guess there's only one way to find out. I'm game. You two are mental. What are you going to do? Just walk through the front door. No problem. I've got an idea. Top floor windows are open. Guess we can climb those boxes. Imagine the likes. Let me get a good angle. hell have you done? What do you mean? He was going to attack Donna. That was a bit of an overreaction, don't you think? A little appreciation here. I just saved your life. Dude, bollock naked. He's not dead, is he? He's got superpowers. He probably can't be killed. We got a call for an ambulance. Whoa, hang on there. Let's not make any rash decisions. I'm not getting in trouble for this. This was your dumb idea. Donna, what if your sister finds out about this? Well, what do we do then? We need to move him. Let's get him inside, out of sight. <sighs> that should hold him for now. 
Thank God he's still breathing. We have to turn ourselves in. This is getting out of hand. What? Slow down. Think about it. No one has to get into trouble. All right, fine. So we leave and phone for help anonymously. Hang on. We've left our fingerprints all over the place. And your sister's a copper? So what? It's not as if our fingerprints are on file anywhere. Come on, Donna. They'll be on the secret government database. Besides, he got a real good look at you. He'll be able to identify you to the police. We can't let him go. For the time being, he has to stay here. Um, hello? Where the hell are you? Tell me this instant! What's wrong? I'm still out with Vivek and Becky. Well, I'm at Vivek's right now and you're nowhere to be seen. Oh, cool. We can walk back together then. Uh, that'll be nice. Uh, it won't be a minute. Donna. Donna, don't you dare hang up on me. Well? That was Emma. Your sister? She's outside Vivek's place right now. Emma's at the Codfather. You need to fix this, Donna. She can't come here. We'll go to prison. Oh, shit. It's fine. Calm down, Becky. I'll go back and meet her and make something up. Shh! Why are you shing us, Viv? I was trying to get you to stop saying our names. Why? He's awake. <laughs>